If you're after a quicker and possibly easier way of transferring your captured footage from your Ace or Ace Pro, be it to your smartphone, tablet or a computer, then this little gadget will do the job. The Insta360 Quick Reader. Insta360 have developed a whole host of accessories for their range of cameras, many of which are non-essential or are for specific purposes or use case scenarios. The Quick Reader, however, is an accessory that almost anyone with an Insta360 camera can use since you'll find a version that will fit most cameras in the range, other than the smallest Go 3 that is. Although we'll take a look at their latest version here, specifically designed for the Ace and Ace Pro. So, while the Ace Pro comes complete with its AI editing abilities, most of the process for achieving these awesome shots is done in the Insta360 app, where you can edit your videos, done by connecting the camera to your smartphone wirelessly. However, the transfer speed can be slow and the editing process can lag because the file sizes are generally very large. In comes the Insta360 Quick Reader. Essentially, a micro SD card reader that plugs into your phone and is designed to allow faster transfer and editing of your Insta360 files instead of connecting wirelessly. With a mainly plastic construction, what we have here is a simple box shaped design complete with a single USB C connector on one side, as well as clips on the top and bottom, helping to hold and secure the unit to the side of the camera. On the front side is a flap that can be opened, revealing a lightning connector for connecting to iPhones, which we'll come back to in just a moment, although more importantly we find a micro SD card slot where a memory card can be inserted, after which the flap can be closed, and we're ready to connect to the camera itself. Fortunately, it's a quick and easy process, involving removing the side door by pulling to pop off, and pushing the quick reader into place instead, with the hooks on the top and bottom secure it into position. Even though I find the connection to be rather secure, and I'd have no problem using the camera out and about as normal, note that this may not be suited if you're looking to shoot in very intense action scenarios, where the camera is really subject to heavy shaking, since the reader could be at risk of shaking loose and disconnecting, of course meaning you'll lose your captured footage. Also note that, as in my example, if you have a micro SD card in the camera already and then connect the quick reader on top, the camera will switch to the quick reader as the primary storage device, so data will automatically be stored in the micro SD card on the quick reader by default when connected. Personally, I tend to connect or disconnect the reader with the camera powered down just to avoid any potential issues, although you can connect while the camera is still powered. It will just switch across automatically and all features of the camera work as normal. And by heading into the settings, you can format the card just as though it was inserted directly in the camera itself. Either way, bear in mind that the camera is of course no longer waterproof in this configuration. It will handle the odd splash of rain, but not a full on dunking. Nevertheless, after capturing footage, you can disconnect the quick reader, taking care to ensure video or image capture has been completely stopped. And again, if a card is already in the camera, it will switch right back to storing data here instead. Nice and easy. At this point, if you generally work with the Insta360 Studio software on a desktop computer, as I personally do, then the quick reader simply acts as a memory card reader. Plug it into the computer and you can quickly access your files nice and easy. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that if you do use your captured footage in this way, then there's really no point in using the quick reader. It's the same as connecting the camera directly via a USB-C cable or removing the memory card and using your own card reader or adapter instead. You'll achieve the same result and save the cost of the quick reader in the first instance, considering it is a rather expensive accessory. Where this accessory does shine though is when you're on the move and wish to edit on the fantastic Insta360 smartphone app. Connect to a previous generation iPhone using the built-in lightning connector or to any handset with a USB-C port that supports the XFAT file format and you'll instantly have access to all your files as normal. When you launch the Insta360 app it will automatically detect that you're using the reader and will display all your video and photo files. Here you'll immediately notice that loading, playing and editing your videos is far quicker and more reliable than when using the wireless connection. This really makes the editing process far smoother and using the AI effects is also quicker and in the meantime your camera will be off and charging ready for your next shooting session. Throughout use I've found the reader to be very reliable. It worked fine every time I used it and it's compatible with both Android and iPhones providing a quick and reliable connection for editing footage. 
It doesn't come without its drawbacks though. Not only is it a rather expensive accessory, once connected to the camera it means you're unable to not only charge the camera while you use it, but you can't use other accessories either, such as a microphone adapter for instance. It also means the camera is no longer waterproof, it will be splash proof at best, although personally I'd avoid that too. It's also of limited use if you generally tend to edit on a computer where a much cheaper SD card reader or a direct camera connection will work equally as well. Where this does excel though is when using with the Insta360 app on a smartphone. Sure, if your smartphone has a USB-C port you could still remove the memory card and use a simple USB-C card reader, but it's just not as convenient as removing the reader from the camera and instantly connecting directly to the app, where you can spend more time achieving the awesome effects that the Insta360 app is capable of creating. So while this is not an accessory I'd recommend to a desktop user, the quick reader makes the editing process with the smartphone app much quicker and easier, with no lengthy transfer times or wireless connectivity issues to deal with. While while this is certainly not a wallet friendly accessory, if you tend to edit on the fly via the Insta360 app, you'll find this accessory saves you a lot of time with editing, rendering and exporting your captured footage.